Cubase's control room is one of its most powerful features, but if you've never set it up, it can be quite confusing. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to set up Cubase's control room, and by the end of the video, you'll know how to use it to compare separate reference tracks, as well as set up separate headphone mixers with their own dedicated click, and how to set up your talkback microphone, all without touching your main mix. Go to Studio, Audio Connections, or just press F4, and make sure control room is enabled. Now you can either click add channel or you can just right click. We're gonna add a monitor channel and we're gonna make sure our monitor channel is routed to our main outputs. In my case, output one and two from my Focusrite interface. And this step is crucial because instead of sending the main mix directly from the outputs tab, control room now separates the mix from your monitoring. And that's what unlocks all of the advanced features. Next, let's add a Q mix. Right click again, add Q. For this, I'm gonna route it to my other outputs of my Focusrite interface, three and four. And this is handy because the interface that I'm using, the Focusrite Scarlett 2 i4, it has a little knob on the front that allows me to change the headphone mix to either outputs one and two or three and four. So right now it's on one and two and I'm hearing the main mix. As soon as I set it to three and four, I can get a completely separate mix and I can set up exactly what I wanna hear. And if I want to send signal to this headphone mix, I come into my mix window, Make sure up the top, I make sure Q sends are enabled. So anything I want to send. And I've got a dedicated metronome on this Q channel as well that I can pan left or right, however I want. And if you are recording performers and you want to send them their own headphone mix with their own click, this is how you would do it. You would use this Q feature, you would send them the signal of the tracks that you want them to hear while they're recording, and you would set their metronome to the level that they want. The next feature we're going to do is we're going to set up our talkback microphone, come back to control room, right click again, select add talkback. I've got my microphone in input two of my interface. So I'm gonna make sure I set this to input two. And now in control room, we've got this talk back button that we can select. And you only need to click it once to turn it on. You don't need to click and hold. But what this does is whenever this is enabled, Cubase automatically dims the level of the audio coming into the headphones. And you can set how much you want the audio level to dim here. And there is also talk back key commands in Cubase. They're not currently routed to anything by default, but if you would use the talk back function quite a lot, definitely set up a shortcut for you just to help speed up your workflow. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to up your reference track channel for you to a b between different mixes with one button now in control room we're going to right click we're going to create a new queue we're going to call this reference now with this reference track you don't have to have it connected to any output that's fine this is my demo session i've already mastered it and i've imported the master here so instead of playing it Instead of playing it like that and tabbing back and forth between mute and solo, which can be quite a pain, if I do that and I've also got plugins on the master bus, it's then gonna get all of that extra processing as well. And it's already mastered and it doesn't need it. I just wanna hear the clean master reference to the original. So the way to do that is make sure I have the output set to no bus. And back down in the queue send section, I now have this other section where I'm now gonna send the reference signal to this other queue. And now what I can do is if I play it, Now we're hearing the demo, as soon as I click Q2, it's gonna to change to the master. And that's your control room set up. From here, you can expand it however you like. If you have more speakers, you can set up more outputs. If you have a bigger interface and you're recording lots of live musicians and you want to create separate headphone mixes for each musician, this is how you would do it. You would just create more Q channels and you would send more signals to different tracks and balance the metronomes for each one of those. But this is the setup that works for me and I hope you got some value out of learning how to set this up too. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.